Growing up, my biggest motivation would have to have been my uh, father. Um, he played in, in college, uh, Division II, and he just always instilled in me a work ethic, and he always taught me how to play basketball the right way, which I think helped me out the most. When I have the ball in my hands, I just feel in, in, in total control of, of what's going on. I mean, nobody else can do anything if they don't have the ball, and when I have the ball, I feel like I'm in the driver's seat. I, I tirelessly work at, at my craft. Um, I'm always trying to learn new things and, and trying to develop new skills. And I think, for the most part, I've done that since I've, since I've grown as a player here. Uh, my strengths on the court are um, my basketball IQ, I think uh, my, my jump shot, is, and, and I think my ball handling are my biggest attributes. Depending on where the defense is, I think I can read where certain players on defense are going to go, so who, I can tell who's going to be open and who's not going to be open. Therefore, it makes it, it makes the game a lot easier. I'm always a step ahead. This will be my third year being the team captain, so I think I, I, Coach Christian has done a good job of preparing me to be a leader on the court as well as off the court. It's, it's hard to make that transition from high school to college and, and be able to just come in and play at the guard spot right away because there's a lot of things that you need to learn that you don't, your coaches don't necessarily teach you. It's just something you learn through experience of playing. And my job is to make sure that we get the right shot, not necessarily to get certain guys shots to make sure they're happy and to make sure we get the, a good shot every time down court. When I'm in the classroom, um, I feel pretty comfortable. We have a close-knit classroom. Uh, it's like a high school-sized classroom, so I feel very close to my professors and a lot of students in the class I usually know, so that if I ever need any help, they pretty much help me out. Do you even look where you shoot on the court sometimes? Uh, for the most part, I, I, try, to, I try to look, but uh, you know, it, it, it's all about a feeling, and, and if I see the next person with the ball and he's looking to pass it, and I feel like I'm comfortable where I'm, wherever I'm at, I, 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 re, I probably won't look at where I am. I'll just, if it feels good, I'll just let it go. Shot is good, and the foul. There are times when, uh, when I'm working out with my coach, and he'll, he'll say, I mean, we got to get some deep ones in, some deep shots in. So, I'll, 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 I'll work on those a lot. But for the most part, during the game, it's, it's just like the, we need this shot at this point in time, and, and I just have the confidence to make it, so I just take it. Not every team is, is, is going to have the, their dream season every year, but to, to, to come in every night and play as hard as you can is, is very important. Like, then going up against teams that you might not be as skilled as or might be as uh, uh, equally equipped as, you just got to go out there and play as hard as you can and look down, and at the end of the day, you'll just see what the scoreboard prevails after that.